Welcome back to Shop Life. This video is going to be a product review on this Harbor Freight toolbox, or if you want to call it a tool chest, whatever. But as you can see, it's one of the entry level Harbor Freight toolboxes. Tool. So it's a three piece tool rolling chest. So it's got the bottom piece right here, which has the casters on it, which allows you to move it around. You have this middle section, which has one big drawer, one small drawer. And then you have this top section with a bunch of small drawers and a little bit narrower drawers as well. And then the top section right here, which has space to put different tools up there. So as you can see, my toolbox is very dusty. It's messy. I have it organized the way that I use it the most. So I've got stuff pretty much where I want it and where I remember it to be. I've had this toolbox. This is one of the first toolboxes I ever bought. Uh, I bought it when I first started working on cars. That was in 2014, 2013, somewhere around there. That's when I bought it. And it was 150 bucks at the time I got it on sale. Right now, they're still at Harbor Freight for $170. Uh, this toolbox is lockable. Uh, it's got the little keyholes for each section, and it comes with a key, of course. Uh, you also have this little bar right here, which allows you to go ahead and put it right in the center. So now these uh, drawers will open while you're transporting it or doing whatever you need to. Whenever you close this one right here, it won't allow you to open any of these drawers on the top and pretty much keep them shut whenever you're transporting. So I've moved shops like three times now. Uh, well, the first time I moved the toolbox was from my house to the shop and then from the shop to the other shop in Raleigh and then eventually from Raleigh to California right now. And as you can see, it's held up really well. All the casters still work. Uh, only problems I've had is this section right here kind of bent up a little bit when I was lifting it with all my tools in there. Uh, besides that, all these little handles and everything still works. All the drawers still work. The little section that right here, this very, very bottom drawer, uh, you actually, there's actually a cover for it. And I did break the cover off uh, probably about a year or two ago. And main reason I broke it off, it just wasn't convenient for me. I like to be able to access everything, especially when my hands are dirty and oily. I don't want to have to keep like, you know, pulling the cover up and any of that. But that's probably the only drawer that I did not like about the whole tool chest. Because what you have to do is you have to lift it out and you have to push it in and slide it in. It was just a lot of work, so I took it out. It pretty much is the home for all of my tools uh, when I'm not using them. And I mean, I use it I use it a lot. Like, I mean, all these drawers still work. Of course, they're not like the smoothest drawers. I've never re-greased the tracks or any of that, and it's held up just fine. Compared to other toolboxes, which you can spend a good chunk of change, $1,800, $2,000, freaking $2,500, $3,000, I can buy another car for me, I really do not see the point of spending so much money in a toolbox. Okay, they give you lifetime warranty, whatever. I mean, a drawer is a drawer. I don't care if it's got the soft touch to close. This is not a drawer that you put your dishes and stuff like that. You don't need soft clothes. It's a drawer that you're gonna slam day in and day out. You just need something that's gonna be dependable, something that's cheap. You guys can decide for yourself. If you're watching this video, more than likely you're just a uh, an average DIY person that's looking to get a toolbox to keep all your tools organized at home and I'm pretty sure you're, you're looking at this because you're trying to find the cheapest one that you can buy and this is the cheapest one that Harbor Freight sells in terms of a full-size toolbox. The casters, like I said, they still work. You can change them. I mean you can buy different heavy-duty casters. These are the same stock ones that came uh, I know I like to modify most things. Only thing I have not modified is this toolbox, <laughs> but you can. I'm guessing you could put some kind of magnets and all kinds of stuff on it. I've still got the stickers on the back. So you can see right here, here's a six drawer top tool chest and it tells you the weight capacity for each. I can guarantee you that I have not followed any of these weight capacities and went well over what the capacity is. This one is 26 pounds, 26 pounds, and then the bottom one is the most with 44 pounds. So that's it for this product review. So obviously I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight. If I was, I wouldn't have uh, this small toolbox. I would have one of their bigger ones, which is like a thousand bucks, but it's red and it looks really cool. But I've got this little $170 one, which still works. Like I said, 
It's a great toolbox. I've used it for four years without any problems. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more product reviews and DIYs. I like to thank one of the subscribers. Well, he's, he's more, not even that much of a subscriber anymore, more of a friend. Uh, his name is Rene and he actually found me through YouTube and he actually gave me one of these little carts. So like a tool cart with these little drawers, which I have been putting to good use and I like to thank him for that. So thanks Renee, and yeah, that's it for this video.